Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part seven of my scrap metal sculpture inspired 3D printed alien xenomorph suit. In previous episodes, I made the arm for alien, which is made of hybrid prints of rubber and rigid material. Printed on a printer with dual extruders, which is a Lulzbot TAS 3 with one flexi extruder and one standard extruder so I can fuse rubber and rigid material together in one print. So some parts are rubber and they're flexible and some parts are rigid um, and they're jointed and some parts are rubber and rigid. In the previous episode I got on with Alien's jaws and made the inner jaw mechanism and today I'm going to continue with the rest of the head or at least some more of the head. So here's the jaw I made last time and um, I've got this wheel that you turn to extend the inner jaw and then that is controlled with um, a servo which will eventually be controlled with a servo controller so I can open and close that I can wind my wheel back in and back in goes the inner jaw so what I want to do today is try and get the mechanism to actually operate the main jaw as well as some more details for the front of the head so in previous episodes I worked on a big frame which I've got here to do the main head structure let's just zoom out so we need to tie the two together at the front of the head um, and work out how all of this works. So I've designed a few of the parts to start with. I'm going to do multiple passes of 3D printing and assembling. So let's have a look at some CAD. So here's our first collection of parts. The uh, yellow part there is the existing upper jaw that we've printed. And the other parts um, need to be printed. So I've coloured them in different colours so you can see them. The um, kind of spidery cage thing over the top you can see is slightly transparent and that again is going to be tr printed in transparent material. It doesn't come out all that transparent once it's been printed in layers but it's quite good to um, have light shone through it to refract light. So I'm thinking about putting LED strips in the head so we can illuminate the clear parts. Um, and those are also the white parts on the physical piece I just showed you. So we've got the kind of um, eyes and nose sort of skull features in there and also the hoops on the side of the head where the conduit goes into um, and those are kind of characteristic of Alien um, and obviously that clear structure will um, continue backwards to the rest of the head. So these are largely as well as the red parts, the parts we need to print out and I'm hoping that I can print that clear part in one piece. Um, it's got a slight overhang but I think it's achievable in clear ABS, just have to print really slowly and obviously the blue parts are the um, eyes and the hoops and the little nose feature. So again with this one the yellow parts are the parts that I've already printed and I've got these additional blue parts to be printed at the bottom, let's just zoom in on those. So we've got a kind of knurling piece which is um, fitted underneath which is kind of characteristic of Alien so that's um, a separate piece bonded to the bottom bracket which is pretty much a mirror of the top bracket and that's also got a servo mount in this bottom corner so that we can have a servo which is going to push the bottom pivot on the jaw to open and close the jaw. So I'm not sure if I'll get away with a standard servo or I need something slightly higher power um, but the jaw moves quite freely and it doesn't really have to move very far so we can use quite a high leverage ratio. So let's get those parts printed out and we'll start to put it together. So here are my 3D printed parts. This one printed okay in the end. So um, there's a couple of rough spots on the overhangs but actually this is pretty tough and it's all come out in one piece. And that of course goes on to here. So these are both ABS so I can weld them together with acetone. And I've got the little features. Now what I did was subtract one part from the other so we've got a little cutout in there that fits perfectly onto there. And we can stick those parts together with acetone. So ABS dissolves in acetone. We can make um, a bond by chemically welding them. So I've got some acetone in a pot, um, as well as my other pot of um, ABS dissolved in acetone to make a kind of paste, um, which is what I've used for all the parts to bond most of them together. Um, we've also got our bottom bracket. Um, and we've got 
remember which way that goes and then we've got our big bottom piece there with all the features on so that's going to fit upside down on there and that fits on the bottom of Alien's head so I just need to make some bonds with acetone and get those fitted onto the main head right so here are our first parts the first part is a good push fit but I'm just going to put some acetone on that and weld it on together and um, you'll see me do this multiple times if you've watched any of the previous parts not much to it really a bit of acetone on both halves so that should fit quite snugly so we should be able to just squidge that in there the other parts aren't quite as good a fit um, and they don't clip on because there's only one cutout in them so I'm going to use the other pot of ABS dissolved in acetone to just make a paste to put on both halves that will fill the gaps in and things as well it's probably enough Stick some acetone on there. I should be able to just squidge that on there. And it should go off in a few seconds and the part will be stuck on. So we just need to continue putting the pieces together. So I've got my parts mostly stuck together. The only remaining thing is to stick that on there. So then we've got the scary face of Alien. And also stick this piece. I've now bonded the... Uh, pattern piece and this together so we need to stick this on the bottom of here on the bottom bracket um, so basically we've got these pieces attached together which are both attached to the inner jaw mechanism and that's all that's holding them so there is going to be more frame around those tying the top and bottom together down the neck so that's not a weak point but let me get those welded together and we'll see what's next Right, so I've got a whole bunch of stuff laid out on the floor. I've got my little alien, I've got my previous alien head, which was a clay sculpt, which I'm approximately using for scale, haven't taken um, quite a lot of time to get the proportions correct on that. And obviously I've got the 3D printed one. So I've got my um, structure all put together here. So we've got the uh, piece underneath and we've got the scary structure on the front there. So if I just prop this back up, and I've got the previous head structure that I built, which needs to be um, attached on there. So somehow I need to attach these two things together. And if you notice on the small alien, he's got a distinctive curve to his head. Um, and at some point there's kind of a hinge point. So the plan is going to be to build some more of the frame that's going to attach to these two pieces, which are the top and bottom brackets, and um, to this. I also need to wear this at some point, so I need a thing to balance on the top of my head. So my plan is going to be, in fact, to integrate some wood into this design. I could 3D print some girders, but actually, you know, wood is probably um, an easier material for now. So I'm going to print some brackets um, which attach the wood to the front here. Um, and that's going to have an angle in, so there's going to be an angled piece that attaches the two together at um, around 15 degrees. So that my jaw will actually face slightly downwards, as it does with a little alien. Um, and then this piece will be um, the piece that's mounted <coughs> into the rest of the frame for the head. And this is also the piece of wood that's going to have some sort of gimbal on it, which is mounted to the top of my real head um, on top of some sort of hat or helmet that I wear so that I can actually wear this as a costume. And my head just about fits inside here, which is a bonus. And my actual head is going to be just behind the jaws. So it's uh, very similar to the, to the alien there. So... I need to print off these brackets and get this together. The other thing is this is all propped up at the moment because it doesn't sit flat on the table anymore. So I'm going to be using another piece of wood um, to make a stand with a, a piece that's perpendicular to it so that I can just stand this thing up and start working on it in the air. Obviously it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger um, like that one, which is nearly three feet long. Okay, so I've built this stand, which is made of wood. It's on a base here to hold it up. And it's got the angle bracket there. I've got some 3D printed brackets which are glued to the wood and I've painted the wood black. And I've also got these two pieces which hold up the back of the head. So that's going to be uh, mounted with some other bits of framework. But for now I can attach the head to that. And then I've got a bracket which I've put onto the head there so that it slots on here. And I can still adjust the angle. There's a screw hole to finally secure it and I can put the whole thing together. So let's just get these out of the way. So at the moment I've just shoved a paintbrush in so I can um, stop the jaw dropping down. Basically that's uh, how it's gonna be mounted. And the bracket that's on this piece of wood is uh, lifts off. So I think that's gonna be effectively where the top of my head is going to go once I've sort of adjusted these correctly. 
and I'm also going to make some sort of shoulder brace. I'm going to have a big mechanical section that's actually braced onto my shoulders, probably a soft pad on my chest because this is quite front heavy. So these bits of conduit that are dangling here go around the hooks that I made in the front of the head and they need to take that characteristic shape down over the jaws and then they need to come along at the back here where I've got these temporary short bits of conduit and the two bits of conduit right at the top here need to continue um, and come down into here. So I've got some more framework to build in this middle section where it's totally missing at the moment and various other mechanical bits to do to mount it on my head. So these clear parts um, are not looking too bad now. There's going to be an inner and an outer structure to fill in the missing gap here. And those I'd like to put LED strips in or something so they light up. So you can imagine the whole thing changing colour from red to green and the uh, of reflections through the rest of the head. So I've just printed off a couple of extra parts, which are these clips for more conduit, and they're angled to hold the conduit at an angle. I've already fitted two, which you can see here, which I need to acetone weld onto the piece there, but basically those hold the conduit, so it's got that characteristic jaw sort of muscle shape, um, and the jaw can still move freely in between them. Um, there's two more conduit clips on the bottom there, so they've got clips for two, that means another piece of conduit is going to be in there which goes to the bottom feature of the head which I'm still yet to work out where the end goes, probably onto this chassis piece I did last time. The other end goes into the lower set of cylinders underneath the main hose on the side of the head. And we mustn't forget that I've got multiple other parts still to attach. So I've got these pieces which are the... Um, basically I've been using all my spare printer time to print these out which go on the side and make the... Uh, sort of double size hoses which are down the side of Alien's head so I've got a whole box of lefts and a whole box of rights and I've still got all these detail features which fit in between the main frame of the head to attach um, when I've got the final spacing and everything in place. So here's just a quick shot of where we've got to so far. Have a look at the website and I'll put some more quality pictures on there. So that's all I've got for this episode. Don't forget to check out my channel for more on this project and other projects. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. You can find the links in the description, including my Facebook group for discussion. Also, I have a Patreon crowdfunding campaign. If you'd like to become an X-Robot super fan, you can get some exclusive rewards, including access to a live broadcast with me. Check out some other videos in my channel, including my Iron Man-inspired giant Hulkbuster suit build, some footage of me at Brighton Mini Maker Fair dressed as Iron Man and some more in my channel about my Iron Man project.